What's up everyone? It is Saturday, August 4th in the morning and uh, I've came down to the boat so uh, I'm getting ready to uh, go over the boat, go through the rigging, check everything, make sure it's ready to make the trip across the Gulf. And um, the, the main thing, you know, I need an autopilot, EB100 uh, Raymarine autopilot. So I'm gonna install that and um, go through anything else that uh, some of the rigging, um, make sure all my lines are secure, just check everything and then that way I, I'm just waiting for a weather window. So anyway, let's get to it. So here is the uh, Raymarine Autopilot. This is the uh, uh, actuator control unit. This is the uh, P70S Autopilot Control. And this is the um, uh, core sensor. It's basically just a, just a disc that needs to be mounted in the boat. Um, and then of course, the big box here is the uh, wheel drive. It's right here. But, um, anyway, I'm gonna get started. Got everything mounted here. I uh, got the wires ran, get the power for the ME2000, and then of course, uh, this is the power for the wheel, uh, which I'll rerun through here later. But uh, I've got all this done, I gotta put that back together. I have the, uh, the control module mounted here, and uh, of course, these two are gonna be replaced. This one is wind wind which i'm going to replace that with the uh the new version i think it's a i60 and then the depth is i or this will be a tri data will be a i50 i think i50 tri data but either way those are going to be replaced um that doesn't fit on there real good but i think a wind would blow that off a strong wind would blow that off which that I don't like but anyway um, so I'm gonna leave this done as is for, I'm gonna leave this as is for now while I mount the wheel the wheel drive and um, I got all the wires ran through here they come out under here get all the wires run through the pedestal and through the um, uh, rudder drive area and then up through here and then they come out right here the wires uh so i'll crawl through the cabin and pull these wires back in under here and i'll mount the rest under there but right now i'm gonna get get started on putting the wheel back together and then i can finish all this and clean up this nightmare that i have here i also took uh and used this right here plastic dip clear um I got the clear version because and I sprayed this entire top because this is old and uh, water just runs right through it so I use this kind of uh, as a rubberized coating on the back side of this material until I can get this replaced but hopefully that will stop some of the water just rushing through here and give me some uh, some sort of uh, dry area to work in
and bring a saw to cut the other one off so I'm going to use this one just have to uh, manipulate it a little bit temporarily You can see right here where that goes in you see this piece that goes in right there and um, if I tighten these top screws it hits up here so I've loosened the top so that this can go down just a touch in order to um, to slide in that hole so I've got the actuator ACU um, motor control right here mounted and then the, the wires run up through the back going uh, into a the backbone NME2000 uh, backbone is back there and then uh, right up here is the um, actual drive is right there I've got mounted it's got it up there got it leveled and then uh, I've got the wires run through the wall and all the all the connections will be back here in the back inside a uh, locker back there yeah. all right so I've got everything tied in right here and I just need to mount this back here all right I finally got it finished so Bring the power on. There we go. This auto wheel starts to turn. Let me put it in gear and see what happens. All right, auto. This one. There we go. Just press, uh, plus or minus the uh, degrees that you want to go, and then uh, you take it, put it back, and stand by when you're done. But uh, anyway, finally works great. Now I've got to put the other two uh, wind and depth. All right, I wonder how hard it'd be to put this on. It's got a new sheet. This ugly thing is a nasty ugly thing right here. So, anyway, I'm gonna need something to sew them two together. I've got this little sewing kit. I don't know where, but sew these two together and I'll pull it backwards. Just trying to do this the quick way. There's a better way. But this is just throwing something together and try to get this up. And let's hope it don't come undone in the middle of the mess. Time will tell. There we go. 
right. Woo. So I'll do the, uh, the main sheet later. I don't have time today. I have to take the sail cover off and everything. So I'll do that later. What's up everyone? So I uh, just got back from the boat and I'm here in my home office. This is where I uh, do my day job. And um, so I went to the boat and I've got my Auto Ham uh, Raymarine uh, EV100 all set up. It's working great. I've got to do some calibration on it, sea trial calibration. Um, anyway, I've, came, I've come home and uh, I brought the, the dinghy back. So when I bought the boat, it came with a dinghy and an outboard motor. Uh, really nice uh, outboard motor and dinghy. But it's set in the carrier bag for the last couple years and some of it has started to come apart. So uh, before I go on my trip, I need to glue this back together. And if, um, if, it, if it's seaworthy, then I'll take it back to the boat so that when I go across the gulf, I'll have my dinghy. But if it's not, I'll have to buy a new one. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go out here in the garage and um, start working on that. I just thought I'd give you a glimpse of my office. Which it's not much. This is my little home office that is completely just mess everywhere. I need to organize my desk. But anyway, this is where I do all my editing. Not with a desk like that, but um, and then I uh, when I get tired, I'll rest in my recliner and watch TV, YouTube. I don't watch TV. I watch YouTube. All right, now this is my messy garage. My daughter's floaties. And um, this is the dinghy I've got. So I gotta take it apart or unroll it and see how bad it is. But I know I started unrolling it a week or so ago and uh, it started coming apart. So I gotta lay it all out and um, you know, see what needs to be glued. Wow, so there's a lot of it that is coming apart. That's coming loose. Oh, whole bottom's coming off of it. Look at that. That all has to be re-glued. Oh man, that looks like a nightmare. The whole bottom is coming off. I guess this could be re-glued. Oh, wow, that's a lot of work, a lot of gluing. What do you think? Glue it or buy a new one? Since we're talking about safety, safety says buy a new one. Anyway, so I'm going to let it dry and see what, um, see if I can start gluing on it and see if it makes a difference. But first steps to let it dry. It's been out in the weather, so I'll let it dry and then um, get some glue and try to glue some of this. If it goes smoothly, then I'll continue. But if not, I may just buy a new one. All right, so I spent the last 
I guess probably a better part of this week, tried to uh, come up with ways to, uh, to glue this back together. And all my research I found out that uh, PVC uh, really kind of sucks when it comes to hot weather. So um, I've ordered a new one and it's PVC but uh, it's just a uh, temporary one. I'll get a half long one later. But I, just, I have to have something to go across the gulf uh, and then when I when I anchor, you know, I'll need to uh, have something run into shore. But anyway, this is going into the trash, and um, hopefully the next video will be uh, of me uh, taking out across the Gulf. I'm planning on I'll go down next weekend and uh, take my outboard motor and my new dinghy down there, do a few more checks, make sure that. Um, it's ready to go and then probably the week or week after weekend after that or soon after that anyway depending on the weather uh, I'll make a trip from Tarpon Springs all the way to Panama City and then I'll cruise along the Gulf there to Panhandle and try to get to, to uh, probably around Mobile and I'll, uh, I'll try to uh, find a marina there Mobile area within you know 100 miles or so of that area to um, to dock it for a few more weeks and then from there I will go uh, through the ICW in Louisiana uh, there's too much uh, traffic and um, oil rigs and everything else around the coast of coast of uh, Louisiana so I'll take the ICW through Louisiana and which opens up into uh, Galveston Bay is uh, where I'll find a an area to um, to pull out and start to refit. Which I'm just going to dock it for now in uh, the Galveston area, Houston area, uh, at a marina until I can finish the San Juan. So as soon as I get it back here, that's what I'll jump back on the San Juan and get that taken care of, and then I'll return back to the Catalina 30 to finish it. But, Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and um, see you in the next video.